Today, I am going to talk about a thing called Chat GPT. How old are you gonna be before you start to experience life like you want it? I wanna tell you right now, whether you like it or not, there is a better way to do business. Hi everyone, welcome to the Business for Builders podcast. My name is Max Peterson. I'm the CEO here at Smith & Sons Remodeling Experts. Uh, welcome to you if you're in YouTube land. Uh, trust you're having a, a great day, uh, no matter what you're doing. Uh, look, as usual, we want to bring a lot of value. Um, I think I've got a really good uh, insight for you, which is going to help your, your business. You may or may not know about what I'm going to talk about coming up, but if you don't, yep, it's going to flat blow your mind. Um, so typical, uh, the housekeeping, like and subscribe and got any comments, leave them below and uh, I'll get my uh, I'll get myself to respond to those as quickly as I can. And uh, what else we got? Uh, what You need to check out the... Um, uh, you need to check out the Business for Builders VIP Facebook group, private group there. Um, yeah, hit me up and I'll, uh, I'll let you into that. And uh, that's where you can find a, a few good videos, a bit of under the hood type stuff. And uh, it's a good community of, of general contractors and contractors chatting about all things construction, maybe asking for advice. It reminds me a lot about what we do in, you know, with franchising um, in amongst the group of general contractors that we've got here at Smith & Sons. So, um, yeah, it's it's a really good uh, it's a good place to be a good little ecosystem. Alrighty, so <clears throat> today I am going to talk about a thing called Chat GPT. Not sure if you've heard about it. Um, you know, one of my odd, oddly enough, or ironically enough, one of my general contractors come to me and said, "Have you heard about that?" And I said, "Well, no, I haven't. Tell me about it. Show me it." And uh, really, once I got a uh, quick understanding of what was happening and how I could use that tool in my business. It was amazing. So um, I want to I want to let the cat out of the bag in the general contracting world uh, for those that don't know about ChatGPT and um, maybe just chat quickly about what it does and then give you some examples of uh, how we would use that in our business uh, right across the board. So um, look, I know that general contractors aren't grammar professionals. I've seen enough general contractors in my time and their emails. And I've, you know, had to coach, you know, more than one of them along as far as, you know, formatting and, you know, the where you put commas and uh, capital letters and all that sort of shit. So, uh, you know, it's always been a bit of a challenge to be able to train someone to do that on an ongoing uh, or in an ongoing basis. But with ChatGPT, um, I've got a guy behind the camera right now who's 19 years old and is not a copywriting professional. However, with ChatGPT, he absolutely looks like it now. Um, and, you know, we say that technology will give you leverage and leverage will give you lifestyle. And so this is just another small example on how you can um, you can utilize or you can get access to technology for, for no dough and it will radically change your life. Now, will it stay as a, as a free option? I'm not sure. Maybe in time, over time, they're going to make you pay. Facebook did. Um, and they're really, you know, they, they stick it into us now for Facebook advertising. But at the moment, chat GPT. So look, it's super easy. Chat and then GPT.com, I think. Or is it dot something else? Anyway, just Google that shit and you'll find it. Go and open up an account. Cost you nothing. And what it does, and this is why the general contractor that brought it to my attention, he said, I'm not talking to you about it over the phone because you just won't get it. And I guess I'm going to have a similar challenge in chatting with you either on YouTube or on the podcast um, about what this thing actually does. So what I did is I went in and I opened up ChatGPT and I uh, utilize it the way it's meant to. So essentially what it is, it's got a, it's got a, uh, a search bar looking uh, type, you know, thing. And you enter in there and it's a, it, they're all using the AI, right? So it's artificial intelligence. It's pulling from all of the, the, the uh, available data that's on the internet. And it constructs uh, paragraphs, letters, you know, Facebook ad copy, uh, you know, all these types of things. And it makes, it makes you and I as general contractors and 19-year-old micro content producers like copywriting ninjas. Now, if you're a copywriter out there, I'm really, really sorry. Um, we actually looked a bit, looked into about probably 12, 18 months ago, engaging the services full-time of a copywriter for this exact reason. Um, and I would it's fair to say now that if that person was actually on the team, which we never actually 
uh, got her started. Right now with ChatGPT, uh, we would probably uh, not be able to afford to keep her on the team because now we have technology that's uh, giving us leverage. And uh, of course, that just increases our profitability. So um, really super easy, straightforward steak and potatoes. I've got six. I've got six. Now, if you're listening to the podcast, you can't hear, but I'm actually flapping around six examples. Now, I'm not going to read them all to you, but it's going to certainly, I'll read the questions. But what, what I do is I, I enter in what I want and then the, the chat GPT AI then pumps out a response, okay? So to give you some context, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run through a few of these and I'm going to read you. Now, I'm telling you I've got six examples here and I produce those six examples. Uh, and again, if you're not on YouTube, they're, they're literally paid, they're, they're, you know, most of them are 300 words long. So it's almost a full page of notes, right? And so I produced six of these examples in 10 minutes. I just had to sit there and go, okay, I'm going to ask ChatGPT this question and it just then pumps it out. So the first one I'm going to use as an example because it's very uh, it's very appropriate, the fact that you're listening to me here on a podcast, whether you're viewing it on YouTube or uh, a, po- a podcast platform. I just pumped in the question here, uh, provide seven questions I could ask a guest on my business podcast. That was the question because what I'm asking... Th- chat GPT to do is to doc, put a document together and I literally and for people in the podcast land you can't see this but it literally um, sorry Dom that might mess up the focus it will literally just pump out and I could literally use these I could bank these questions down and go right the next guy that walks in the door that's going to be a guest on my podcast who's a business owner I got the questions I don't have to think about it that is a time saver and my mental real estate um, is very small and so anything that can help me uh, document uh, or journal what I need to do, systems and processes, checklist. That's why it's so important. And I'm telling you, that's where you can, you know, as general contractors, GPT, give me, um, you know, seven seven things I need to uh, observe before I go to contract with a client. Or whatever whatever is your question, whatever you need a set specific on, this is what ChatGPT can help you with. So I asked ChatGPT, let's call it Chat for short or GPT for short. Provide seven questions I could ask a guest on my podcast. I didn't have any input other than that one single line and it literally listed seven questions can you tell us about your background and how you got started in your industry can you share with us some of your biggest challenges and how you overcame them in your career what are some of the trends and innovations currently shaping your industry and that's you know these are the questions that i didn't have to come up with i literally don't have to apply myself now apparently there's colleges or schools or elementary schools all over the u.s that are trying to ban gpt because can you imagine writing a a, a, you know a, a history paper and you just put that into chat GPT and all of a sudden in five minutes, you've got yourself an essay like freaking golden. Where was this shit when I was at school? But um, so that's one example. So that was just, okay, Max, what questions can I ask a guest on, on a podcast? So there's a good example. Um, another one here, uh, I asked chat GP, create copy. And that is the written word, create copy for a Facebook ad about a finished kitchen project. And this is what chat GP said back to me. Transform your kitchen with a stunning upgrade. Say goodbye to outdated countertops and cabinets and hello to a brand, uh, hello to a brand new, beautiful and functional kitchen. Our expert team has completed yet another kitchen renovation project and the results are simply breathtaking. Take a look at the stunning before and after photos and see for yourself. Get in touch with us today to start your kitchen transformation. Freaking gold. Like, I'm not bad on the keyboard, but there's no way. I, that would take me hours to write. That literally would have taken me less than 90 seconds from, from the concept of idea, typing it in, chat GP, pumping it out, bang, there it is. Um, here's another one. Now, th- these ones got, these, those first two were fairly, uh, fairly short. These ones are actually fairly long. So I'm not going to, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a read. I'm going to read the question to you that I come up with that I wanted GPT to come back to me with, just so you got some context. So you go, okay, the first one was about questions for a podcast interviewing a business guest. The second one was Facebook copy for an ad for a kitchen renovation, which is very applicable to us general contractors. This one here, um, it says, uh, the question that I typed in was, draft a letter of warning from Smith & Sons addressed to Max Peterson for failing to observe proper site safety protocols and procedures. Bang, it, and I'm not going to show the letter, but it just it drafted me one, two, three, four, five paragraphs to address the situation with Max not complying with safety protocols. And it, it's worded so well. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what it can do. Example number four, draft a letter of appreciation addressed to Max Peterson for his good work at Smith & Sons. And sure enough, one, two, three, four paragraphs of information. Again, 
for me to sit there and think about that, and this is the thing, for me to actually think about and contextualize and with some... Now, know this, right? It's not a perfect science. The The better the data in, the better the data out. But you may have to cut and paste this into, a say, a Google Doc. Um, and if you don't use G Suite, you know, with a Gmail account, you probably need to look into that because it's a pretty useful tool. Um, but you might need to then put what GPT uh, gives you, go into a draft mode and just make it yours a little bit. In some cases, it might be fine, but I just need, that's a cautionary note. If you just go and trust it 100%, um, it may look you, may make you look uh, silly. So, uh, you know, hire the best systems, but don't trust them, right? So uh, make sure you just investigate. So, uh, yeah, so that's a letter of appreciation. Um, now I've got a draft. I've got, I, I asked GPT, I said, draft an email to Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, informing them that Smith & Sons is no longer in a position to provide, provide a bid on their basement remodel. Okay, and uh, and of course that's one, two, three paragraphs as well. That one's a bit of a tricky email because you're like, oh wow, you know, there's a hundred thousand dollar project or whatever the you know project is, but I really found them irritating, and I don't think they're going to be pleasant to work with. Um, I don't th I think I want to actually go and you know after meeting them for the first time, I don't think I want to present a bid even. Um, and that's that's going to be because I the question was draft an email, right? So different context. So we've gone from questions, we've gone to uh, copy for a Facebook ad. Uh, we've gone to, you know, warning letters, and now we're going to an email uh, covering off a subject that might be a little bit tricky for the, you know, for us general contractors to get our head around. Um, and then the last one here, I thought again, I thought, okay, what else do we do in our business? And this one here is uh, the, I actually wrote a bit of a paragraph, remember? Whatever you put in is going to help you hopefully get better output. So I went to, I've got three sentences here, uh, draft a letter to Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, thanking them for entrusting us with the responsibility of handling their basement renovation and then requesting from them a video review where they can share their experience in dealing with Smith & Sons as their general contractor. And it wrote a fairly competent letter. So, um, you know, these, these are examples which I'm going to, I'm going to scan all of these documents to one PDF and I'm going to actually upload that on the Smith & Sons, uh, sorry, on the Business for Builders VIP private group. And, um, and so you can literally just uh, have a look at those to give you a little bit of a reference material as it relates to ChatGPT. So um, look, I, I think anything that provides uh, leverage um, is going to give us lifestyle. And certainly, furthermore, it's going to make you sound a little bit more professional, which I think is good. And more often than not, you'll start to, you know, whatever you're producing, you'll start to refine. So it's literally teaching you how to write better emails. It's teaching you how to write copy because if you're in touch with what you're doing, you'll notice how the copy is written and all of a sudden it becomes very um, obvious to you how, you know, uh, good grammar and, and you know, uh, good verbiage. Um, and how you can become a better wordsmith. So I think that's super important because one of our downsides as a general contractor is that we we just try our hardest, but our grammar is really awful in some cases. And I know a lot of guys, perhaps I can speak from a guy's standpoint. You know, we have we have better halves that uh, maybe have a little bit more skills as it relates to being a wordsmith. Um, but if in the event you, you don't have that luxury at your disposal, then Chat GPT uh, is definitely uh, you know a facility whereby you can really improve. Uh, your situation and we we use this a lot for our, um, our our marketing you know exactly what I said Facebook ad copy we do you know a lot of you guys and girls you might be in a position where you're getting emails from us some of it's generic and some of it's you know that, that we put together and some of it's you know a, a compilation of some chat GPT input um, and we're even we're even thinking that maybe maybe chat GPT uh, wording or wordsmithing gives us a better a better hit as far as SEO goes. So, um, you know, if you want to write blogs on your website, um, that this would be definitely one way that you could at least get the creative juices flowing and then you could actually take that initial draft and uh, and modify that to put your own spin on it. So, look, it's just another tool, um, something we've been using only for probably a month, but we're pretty excited because it, it makes things, it turns 19-year-olds who really are not confident as far as uh, putting copy together for TikTok posts and things like that to a point where they're like, yep, got this. And even, you know, on the other side of it where we're talking about retail facing stuff, which you guys and girls might do more of rather than B2B, um, it certainly can um, project a level of professionalism um, that that you may not be able to produce on your own. So I um, hope that helps. Like I said, I'll upload these onto the uh, Business for Builders VIP private Facebook group and uh, you can you can check those out, download it, use it a bit of a reference tool and um, yeah, hopefully that builds helps you build uh, the business that you need to build. So um, yeah, be sure to check us out uh, on uh, YouTube as well, like and subscribe, all that sort of good stuff 
and uh, leave any comments. Make sure that if you want to get in contact with me, you can go to the businessforbuilders.ca website, go to the contact page, put a few details in there and uh, share some thoughts with me or some feedback or some, you know, some requests there and I'll, uh, that'll come straight to my phone um, and my PC. So I'm always looking to help in some way, shape or form. So go build a kick-ass business. See you in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.